Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hanging by the fire chairs, isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memory Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8 And we're starting with a nice cup of tea Oh Oh dear Good morning and welcome morning. to day, what day are we on? Eight. Day eight. Day eight of Vlogmas. Sunday the eight. Uh, almost forgot what day it was today, but it is early. It is, we left the hotel around about quarter past seven. Yeah, we wanted to get away nice and early while the roads are empty and uh, get back home. Lots yes. to do at home, so. Lots to do, so we wanted to get on the road. It's what, over two hour drive home, so yeah. try and beat the rush on the, on the motorway. So we had a really good night of sleep and just like a nice chilled evening. Feeling very refreshed, aren't we? Yes, yeah, very refreshed. So then we're going to get back. I'm going to edit the next Florida vlog, which is a really long one. It's like an hour and a half of footage, so it's probably going to be a good two hours of editing there. And then we're going to go shopping, aren't you? I'm going to do a little bit of shopping, get us some lunch. So we do normally split off jobs on Sunday because the editing just takes quite a lot of time. So I like to. Obviously, I'm getting close to that, which does the uh, shopping, so it works quite well. Yeah, there's no point in me sitting around, let's uh, maximise the time and I'll head out. And, yeah, yeah. So then we're going to see the cats and yeah. uh, have a nice, relaxed Sunday at home. I've missed them so much, but they've been well looked after whilst we've been away, yeah. so. Um, so we're heading back now. Yes. sunrise this morning. Yeah, it's really stormy skies. So we are about just over an hour to home. Still going to drive. We've got a really good driver today. <laughs> You're doing alright, aren't you? Yeah. Just want to say a huge thank you to all the comments on our videos. I've just been reading out a few comments to Luke while we've been driving. And lovely to see all the um, the messages and we've got some correct answers here from yesterday so we've got Mary so well done to Lauren Byers and I admire the honesty of Jamie Miles as well so you were honest and said I don't have a clue <laughs> uh, life with a golden isn't Mary yes it is I Mary have, I don't have a clue either on most of these questions you didn't have a clue either um, yeah, and just the messages are so lovely. Obviously, we mentioned our how we met and our first date story, so we had lots of lovely comments on that. Um, thank Robert, you. thank you, Robert White as well left us a lovely message. So, thank you so much, everyone. We read literally every single comment, and I've just been reading them all out to Luke. So, yeah, I feel like we um, when we record, we obviously talk to the camera. Yeah. And when we read your comments, I feel like it's everyone talking back to us. So it's quite nice <laughs> that we actually get to hear what you guys think. Yes. Yeah, it's really nice. Thank you guys. Uh, we're hitting the Christmas songs in the car right now. So we've started off with It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. I love this one. By Andy Williams. With the kids to Got a more up-to-date Christmas song going on. It's one of Luke's favorite Christmas, actually one of mine as well, um, is Sia's Christmas album. And we're currently listening to Candy Cane Lane. I like that one. We like this one. Uh, let us know in the comments what your favorite Christmas song is, current and old. So we're just at a rest stop service station right now and Luke's just filling up and I've just seen I've got serious cravings right now. They've got sausage rolls and hot dogs. Oh, so hungry, but we're gonna resist. And we'll wait till we get to the shops a bit later on. But we've got half an hour to go to home. from the Costa Express machine and there's loads of Krispy Kreme. They've also got one Yorkshire tea maker, that is so cool. And we may have picked up a little muffin here. Oh, this muffin looks so good. Triple chocolate. Should be for the uh, service station prices. <laughs> service station prices, yep. <laughs> 175, so we only got one of these to share because 175 is quite a lot for a muffin. It's a nice little uh, morning. Little bit of yeah, and we've also got 
our hot drinks. So I've got the caramel hot chocolate and it is so, so good. Super vocal right now. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. Hello. Oh. She's very happy that you're home. She's very happy, she's got a lot to say. And Socks is here as well. <laughs> Big purrs. Are you purring? Yeah. Oh. Happy. <laughs> you are a happy girl. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Oh. Socks, are you happy? Oh, these two are so hungry. They love it when we come home. Mwah. Oh. Purring. <laughs> I'm not sure if that comes up on camera. <laughs> Oh. Very wimp. Hello. Oh. Have you missed us? There he is. Oh, good boy. Good boy. You missed us, didn't you? You did. Mm. Oh. Some dinner. Did you get looked after? Yeah. I think they always panic because when we go for like one day, they think we've gone for good. <laughs> so only one day. One day. One and you, day. Were, you were well looked after. You were pampered. And she begs to differ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's loads partner. of washing on the floor because we're sorting out our washing right now. <laughs> Here he is. So we are home, had a nice little cuddle with the cat. So Luke's gone up to edit uh, today's vlog and I'm going to go out and do some shopping. Got my reusable bags and yeah, if there's anything interesting to show in the shops, I'll obviously capture it on the vlog. Uh, I'm just nipping to Sainsbury's, which is our local like superstore. So probably they're going to have a lot of the same stuff. But in case there is anything exciting, I will show you guys. So I'll see you soon. Wow, it is absolutely super busy. So I've literally just got here at about 10 past 10. The store opens at 10 this morning and I've just queued to get in the supermarket. So I already know it's going to be absolutely crazy in there. Um, I was just having a random thought as I was driving in. I don't know about anybody else, but... I seem to always park in the same place or even in sometimes the same space every time I go shopping. Do you find that? Like, it's just weird. But yeah, I seem to always find myself over this side of the car park. Uh, just a random thought as I was coming in. Anyway, I'm going to go shopping now. And if I see anything, I will show you on the vlog. <laughs> I've just been doing a few bits and pieces around the house. It's pretty much a day of, well, it feels like so far, a day of washing. So I've just put the second wash on. Normally, if we're here on a Saturday, we'll try and do one wash on a Saturday, one wash on a Sunday. But when you've been away for the weekend, you kind of have to cram it in all in one day and shopping as well. But yes, yeah, so that's, that's my day so far. Willow is just literally jumping up on the side there, she's being naughty today. She's punching us for going away yesterday. Um, a little shout out I wanted to do for Wagon Wheels. Oh, I am a slightly addicted to Wagon Wheels, the jammy ones especially. Now you can get probably the equivalent of these, or you can, in the US, which are called Moon Pies. But I don't normally say this, but Wagon Wheels are better, I think, um, than the Moon Pies in the US. Uh, I think it's the jam inside that does it. So, yeah, just want to do a shout out for these. I've been eating these for, since I was a kid. Um, so they're like a very nostalgic treat. And I usually have one of these in my lunch. So, yeah, I thought I'd just mention those. I'm not sure if I've mentioned them on the vlog before. But, yeah, slightly addicted to wagon wheels. But anyway, Willow's here. She's literally on my lap. Hello. <laughs> she, she always wants to be on the vlog. Um, so, yeah, so we're just going to finish, finish up doing bits around the house. Um, and Luke is still editing, so he's just finishing up the latest Florida vlog, so we're looking forward to releasing that soon. Um, and yeah, and we'll probably pick up a bit later on. 
Hello, I'm back on camera. I have just been editing for two hours, so I probably look rough, like head in the zone. But today's vlog is done. It's almost an hour long at 58 and a half minutes. So there was about an hour and 40 minutes of footage cut down. So yeah, I'm excited to show Richard because I've been laughing and it was funny. So that is now saving. Then Rich will watch it. If he's happy, it will then get uploaded and then you guys can watch it. <laughs> I hope you like it. So it's a special treat all round today. So for lunch, I picked up some smoked salmon and normally, well, not normally, always when I have smoked salmon at home, two little babies, <laughs> two little kittens have some salmon as well. So they'll be crying and screaming. Do and you want some Willow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she is, Willow is particularly excited that she's about to get some salmon. Just a little tiny bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Good evening. So I've just got Willow here. We had a little nap this afternoon because we were so tired. Um, but that's, that's not really any different to any normal Sunday. We normally have a nap on a Sunday. Um, so Willow is well and truly really ready for her dinner. Aren't you darling? Say hello. <laughs> so this is how I normally carry her around the house. She gets like a fireman's carry, or she gets carried in my arms. But yeah, she's a pretty easy going cat, aren't you? <laughs> so we're gonna make some tea, make some dinner, and then just get on with our evening. So you might be wondering why I'm dressed to go out right now. And we've just realized we've made a bit of a boo-boo. <laughs> so we plan to do like wraps with mints and lettuce and tomatoes and things like that tonight. Um, and we were making a list on the way back from Devon of the shopping list and we didn't put wraps on. So, and we've just realized like the wraps, the, the whole idea of dinner is useless without the wraps. So luckily where we live, there's a little shop. So I'm gonna go out now and hopefully this little shop has got some wraps. So yeah, bit of a boober on our part. So I'm gonna head out and get that and Luke's gonna stay here and do a bit of tidying up. So thanks to the saviour of our local shop because everything on a Sunday shuts at like half four, five. So if you miss that half four or even four o'clock like deadline, then you've got to rely on these local shops. So thankfully our local shop had um, wraps. So dinner is saved. But I don't know about you, like if I go into a shop and I've got one thing to get, I can't leave. I can't go in there and just get that one thing. I always have to come out with something else. Um, it does drive Luke a little bit insane. But um, I had a, a bit of a craving for... Fanta fruit twist, um, like zero, zero sugar Fanta fruit twist. I actually prefer the zero sugar version to the full sugar. Um, I just think it tastes a bit nicer. Um, but yeah, so I picked up Luke and me some Fanta. Um, so I'm gonna head back now and probably start um, dinner. So Richard probably told you about the mess up with the uh, shopping list, so funny. So the main component of the meal was wraps. <laughs> so Richard just popped out. I have been editing, I did about two and a half hours editing earlier and now I've just been tidying the house but I'm going to make a cup of tea so when Rich comes back he has a nice cup of tea ready for him. So let's play pick what you guys up. ask about our mugs and we have probably another 50 mugs that are Disney related in the loft. One day I'd love to get them all out but we do like to rotate so what we'll tend to do is get a plastic crate with bubble wrap, take a load out and then create some space and then have more. So let's put cords, it's an alien one for Rich. I always love getting Rich this alien mug, so cool. And the other side it just says, ooh. And I've gone for a Disneyland one. Cause I'm really missing Disneyland today. So yeah. in Shanghai earlier in the year, we got these really cool cup covers and we haven't used them yet. So I just dug them out and I want to use them. So we kind of, you put them on the cup while you're keeping it warm. So let's give it a go. I'm going for a Harrods English breakfast tea right now. Um, thinking Rich is going to want the same because he like he really likes his tea as well. So unfortunately, this is obviously a luxury item, so we won't be buying it there every day. But it's very nice during the and Christmas. There we have it. So the cup covers are on, and they kind of get like a little suction. So it's kind of stuck, like it it builds up a little suction thing. So you have to kind of pull it from the side if you want it to come up. Otherwise, it's like really holds on quite tight. It's good. Quite it's cool. so festive in here. It's so lovely this time of year. Mariah Carey's got her own Merriest Christmas program, which we're not going to be watching, but we're just skipping through all the Christmas films and we're going to get the DVDs down. So how good does that Disney reef look? We're going to find somewhere to put that. I'm so happy we found it. Honestly, it's some so of the Christmas films are out. I know these are upside down for you guys, which is just our sorter. 
Just doing some sorting out. They were pretty much in the same place for the whole year. So my vote today is for Home Alone. Yeah. What's your vote? No, it's got to be Home Alone today. We're yeah. pretty consistent on that, aren't we? Yeah. So let's start today with Home Alone, one of the best, best, best Christmas films. And Home Alone 2, we one year we went to New York and acted it out, didn't we? Pretty yeah. much. But I'm, I'm not sure how much longer I can wait to watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and Christmas with the Cranks. And we watched the Santa Claus a bit last night, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, that was... And fun. Jingle All The Way. I love Jingle All The Way. Yeah. So this year we're just bringing out some of the classics because we realised we like watching some of them twice. So we're definitely going to watch Home Alone at least once or twice. Yeah. And Christmas with the Cranks might well be my favourite. Honey roast ham. Hey, honey, green honey roast ham. Honey roast ham. Here it comes. Oh, it's so old. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so nostalgic. classic. I love old DVDs. We have the Blu-ray of number two somewhere, don't we? Yeah. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, just the oh, start of music. music. Somewhere in my memory. Dun, dun, dun. And then it changes its tune. It's dinner time. So, dinner tonight. We are going for uh, mince wraps. So we got some mince. We're going to have some lettuce. Tomatoes, um, Luke's going to put some sour cream and chive dip um, or some salsa on his wraps and then we've got some just a bit of sprinkled cheese as well and I'm going to make use of the Sweet Baby Ray's Hawaiian barbecue sauce, I'm going to put that on my uh, mince so yeah, I'll show you when they've all been made so we're just constructing the wraps right now so Luke's got his sour cream going on, lettuce, tomato and also, I'm going to do one in a minute, but also we've got our chips and we've got some cool salsa on the side as well. So it's like a little mini, like, Mexican going on. Yeah, it is. It's just constructing his. So I've put my Hawaiian. Hawaiian. <laughs> so I know I said earlier it's like a Mexican. It's not really, but it's our version of a Mexican. Like a nice wrap. Okay, I've got to do this really Good evening. I'm looking rough. <laughs> but no, it's Sunday, you're not. It's Sunday chill time. Um... Yes, we have had a relaxing dinner. Yeah. Watched Home Alone. Mm -hmm. The fajitas were really nice, weren't they? Really good, yeah. And really good with um, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, FYI. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just so tired. Like, yeah, you might only... be noticing, like, we're wailing right now. It's only like half seven. <laughs> it feels much so, later. Early night, obviously, we have a. Last week was 50 plus hours. This is going to be another really busy week. Rich has got a few things on this week. Yes. So it's going to be a really busy time. It's going to be a little bit more challenging this week because I'm out. I've got a few work related things in the evening and during the week and during the day as well. Um, and Willow it's here. Willow. She always says hello. <laughs> so you'll see a lot more of me this week because I'll keep you entertained on the weekdays. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously Rich will try and update you when he can. Mm -hmm. So that's why you've seen a bit more of Rich today. But let's do some advent calendars. Yeah. First up, we've got a little bit of catching up to do. We're not going to keep you guys too long. So we have to do Friday the 6th from the Disney one. Yep. And Willow's here and she's rubbing against the camera. So it's a bit shaky. I'm trying to keep the camera really straight because she's uh So the 6th was this really cool, like, pinky one. Ooh. I'm going to pass it to Rich to do the 7th. Okay. I hope you can find it. <laughs> oh, quick, quick, quick. 777. Here we go. Uh, Ooh, in the meantime, we're going to look at the sixth again. Yeah. <laughs> Silver and a pink bow. Excellent. Mm. And I'll do the eighth. Playing a good game. Someone, <laughs> the camera. Some, I saw someone commented asking, how do you guys like know when to swap the camera? Because we keep taking it in turns. Yeah. I know, we're just kind of like reasonable, aren't we? Yeah, we don't le leave each other too long holding the camera. We're quite considerate like that. I, c I can obviously talk for England. So um, <laughs> when I get going, poor Rich is just like, hello. Oh, my arm is aching. There we go, nice. a sparkly one for today. Like a disco ball. Like a bit of rose gold one. So yeah. that's the three that are going to go on for the Disney one. Yes. And then Rich is going to do his tea one. So we'll show you that. Pass the camera. Three days, three lots of tea. At least with this one I know, like, because they're all in order. <laughs> You're a bit behind with the tea anyway, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I know. So I think you should take it to work with you and catch I'm gonna, up. I'm going to have to. So okay. what's that one? Number six, organic green tea with cinnamon, peppermint and licorice. Oh, not sure Ooh, about that. Licorice. I think you had that one, you didn't really like it. Yeah, I'm not sure about licorice. Uh, number seven is organic herbal tea with cinnamon, chicory, licorice, peppermint, oh my God. ginger, and orange. I can make okay. So the other scents are quite strong, so they might offset the licorice. Yeah. Please don't be licorice on number eight. Number eight. Organic oolong, lemon, raspberry, and calendula. 
Is that definitely spelt right? <laughs> Calendula. I never Calendula. Heard that. Let me have a look at that. <laughs> Luke needs to verify that. Calendula. Calendula. I don't know if that's right or not. I've never okay. heard of that. Well, probably number eight is the one I'm most appealed. Most appealed to. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's time for my one. Basically, the moment you've all been waiting for. The numbers. The numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so number six. It's... I'm loving that a lot of you are excited for the numbers on this one. It's a candle. It smells nice. I can smell it from here, actually. That's quite strong. It's a 929601. Okay, 929601. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I am going to write to this company just to say, <laughs> put a little sticker on each one. It's got to be done. Uh, yeah. What else? Number seven. <laughs> if anyone else has this calendar, then feel free to join us. That's the 929618. Smells nice. Yeah. If you smell nice, I have to start burning some of these. And number eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't get it. I've forgotten the second number already. Nine, uh, two nine six zero four. There we go, everyone. Are you noticing a, a different smell per candle? No, no. Yeah, this smells nice anyway. I just don't know which one's which. Yeah. Time, for, Time the for the quiz. <laughs> so Rich is going to read the answer for yesterday. Yep. So number seven was <laughs> question was what was the name of the little girl to whom Andy gave all his toys at the end of Toy Story 3? So I didn't Google it, however, because you guys have all been commenting, um, I've been seeing the comments coming up, which is brilliant, and I believe the answer is Bonnie. Yeah! Which does ring a bell now, Now, obviously I watched the movie, I knew it was the end of my tongue. So. Yes, there and a lot go. of you got that right, so well done guys. And then number eight. You're doing us proud of your Disney knowledge. Yeah, let's go, ready? Number eight, everyone. Number eight, okay, here stand, we go. Stand by, stand by. Okay, question is, how many daughters does King Triton have in The Little Mermaid? Ooh. How many, but bonus point, or oh, bonus many? point, if you can name them. Mm. Okay. Them. No idea on that one again. I'm <laughs> terrible. I don't know Disney. Like this is practicing for like a Disney quiz. Because if we get a Disney quiz, I would fail. Yeah. I'm not on your team. So what's the question here? <laughs> How many daughters does King Triton have in The Little Mermaid? Yeah. That's number eight for you guys. Mm. Over to you. Comment <laughs> below. Let us know. Do us proud. So on that note, coming up this week, we're going to have... Um, Rich is obviously going to be away a few nights. Mm -hmm. I think we need to start thinking about starting the gingerbread house. Yes, I'm going to... I need to crack that open this week because it's quite a hefty one. It's going to take yeah. some time. We need to do a trip to Ikea. Yep. Got to write some Christmas cards, so I'll be doing that. I'll show you the Christmas cards we got tomorrow. Yep. Like Luke says, I'm out a few nights this week, so I'm going to take my phone with me so I can capture some... Bits of footage, so it's going to be a bit mixed, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to head, I've got my work night out on Friday, so I'll do some pictures and footage there. Mm -hmm. So Friday, Rich might have to edit the Vlogmas, just thinking, because oh, I might yeah. be in until late. We'll see. Oh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and then next weekend, we've got to think about our plans, but I think in a trip to Windsor might be in order or something like that. Yeah, we've not been to Windsor yet. The no. farm shop. Yeah, maybe the farm shop. Okay, there's some ideas brewing. Yeah, we've got a couple of weekends free, so we can work it out. But just want to say a massive thank you. So we are now a week in. Just over a week. Just over a week into Vlogmas. And I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's watching, uh, commenting, liking, giving us a thumbs up. Just, we really love, we say this nearly every day for Vlogmas. We love reading the comments. Um, it is a joy to do Vlogmas, although we do, we are honest and say it is quite challenging. Yeah. Uh, especially during the week when we're working full time. It's super festive. Super festive and just so glad you guys are enjoying it. Have a great week everyone. Have a good week.